Up. Rich, I'm going. I don't think that I was here to advance. Pardon me. I, I love advancement, but I do not like the fact that um, I'm not doing the the not necessarily the miracles, but the aspect that challenged me most. And I know that it came in the form of sight so I try to see no evil um, hear no evil is very important speak no evil is a great it, it's my greatest challenge as a as a rap artist okay I, I, I'm one of those individuals I don't need people to be inferior to me for me to thrive do you understand we were I, when I um, I ain't never did the right thing. I don't shine with silverware, and I ain't in the Navy because you always here. Oh, cute as a butterfly. I sting like a bee. And forever I'll be. Number one in your record player. Like country music. I feel like Shania Twain. <laughs> Uh, hello, you've reached a... Sorry, Mr. Carr. Please, uh... Hello, you reached... Sorry, Mr. Carr. In public, I gotta show them how it goes. Had to go mainstream, so my face looks like a painting. I made sure I was passionate. So you know, if I was, I'd be true. really changed my mind. Now... The first thing I want you guys to know is I take all my relationships to the utmost severity. Wanna know why? Because it's important that everyone knows that I take it to the utmost severity. I'm up, you know, and the first thing is, even though I'm a director, that doesn't mean I've ever been to Hollywood, which I have not. I was actually scared. I was scared of, I was scared of Hollywood divorces. I was scared of Hollywood drugs. I was scared of fame. Um, then I found out I was famous. That's another thing. Um, <clears throat> So, um, being popular and being famous are kind of the same, except for when you're going after love. And everybody knows my love story is for the pits, it's for the birds. I think that my love story is like one of those that keeps people from wanting to get married. <laughs> so I continue to think about, you know, things that, uh, that uh, um, others will appreciate. Um, I love the score. Um, I'll probably get on the scorer's job. I mean, damn nerves. Um, um, I always have a good sense of humor. Go in that bitch laughing, come out laughing, and hopefully it, it turns out right. Um, I met God recently, and he, he has one of those commanding voices. Hopefully it'll come out in the picture. Um, not letting stuff like sexuality deter you from the big, you know, big picture. Um, Dr. Ben Carson has a book called The Big Picture. And, you know, he starts off with gifted hands in which, you know, he does uh, he does a surgery and someone passes away and they still gave him the opportunity to do another um, surgery and um, he does better. But he, he, always, he always talks about seeing the big picture. And so um, I think that's important. That's but definitely not least. Uh, almost done with Binder 16, man. Residency, fellowship, and Naval Norfolk. Everything right now is rated R. And um, I guess after watching Fifty Shades of Grey, I should have known better than to place myself in like PG-13 or PG state of mind. But I, I know very tough uh, issue this morning. Once again, still dealing with um, a whole lot of unadulterated uh, bullshit going into the gay community. I cannot believe that I'm, I'm, I'm having to actually go back on things it's really interesting to find a love that you know people put together but i've never been one for constructive is it constructive criticism i suppose i suppose that's the is that the principle yeah constructive criticism okay good i'm a very learned subject but of course you know i like what i like <laughs> so 
I, of course, am asking for 20 years of entertainment. That includes hip hop and, of course, film. Um, <clears throat> have I chosen? Of course, I am a director. It is my first responsibility. But as an artist, I do not stay away from the studio. I love hip hop. I learned to rap when I was probably about seven, eight, nine, or 10. I wrote poetry, I'll be here. Um, so you can trust that um, we're gonna go after the go. Thank you to all the fans. I don't know what you guys did to really make sense of the situation. Uh -uh. <sighs> Apologize. Um, and um, my soul gone, my heart gone, my body gone. So I pretty much, I'm here for y'all. <laughs> Last but definitely not least, knowing where your perfect world ends and your reality begins. I'm one of those people who thought I was the girl with the princess house who's going to marry the boy down the street. So let me try and knock you guys out of your realm too. I thought I was going to marry the boy down the street, go to uh, <clears throat> graduate, go to college, marry him in a nice home, be an AKA. This is not what occurred. Um, however, was it was it a huge uh, explosion? For the most part, yes, but I'm gonna tell you like this, when it comes back again and you don't move forward because you think that's where you are in reality, I'm gonna tell you, it's just something that's relative. The world is very large. For those people who like to feel for the world, there will be those who don't like you. They'll take Our family is all I have. So um, I do this for them. Go figure, tomorrow's the day off. Um, I want to show you one of the 